All right, it was those storms, they kept the first alert weather team really busy from, from Friday all the way through Saturday night. But now, they can I'm sit back and coast. It feels like it was so long ago. <laughs> Chief Meteorologist Derek Beasley is in the First Alert Weather Center to let us know what we can expect next. Absolutely, guys. Yeah, I tell you what, guys, hats off to meteorologist Steve Sauce. Now, he really was working those storms here the, uh, late last week into this weekend. So, yeah, trying to keep you safe. And uh, fortunately, not a whole lot of damage here, but we did get some reports of some wind damage, particularly down towards Severn. And more of it, though, was a little bit farther towards the south, closer to the district. But yeah, quiet weather has returned, and it's going to stick around with us here through most of this week. We're not going to see rain return to the forecast until later this week, mainly on Thursday and Friday, and that's when the humidity is going to creep back up as well. We're still tracking some storms, though, and these have been really across parts of southern Maryland, the lower eastern shore this afternoon. Some pretty decent downpours here through sections of uh, Worcester County from Ocean City all the way southward here. These going to continue pressing off towards the south and here, east here over the next several hours, but it's been a very comfortable day with lots of sunshine and low humidity. Temperatures reaching the low to mid 80s. Elton at 79 degrees at this hour. It's a far cry from where you were on Friday this time and Saturday, where we had heat index values over 110 in some spots. But look at these dew points, though. This is whenever we talk about dew point and temperatures are in the 80s, like they are right now, or the 90s. This is where you want the numbers to be: 40s, 50s, even low 60s. Feels very comfortable. You do not want. Dew points in the mid to high 70s like we had last week. So definitely a nice refreshing change. That's going to mean a very nice evening across the area. Mostly clear skies. Temps in the mid 70s here through midnight tonight. And then when you wake up tomorrow morning, we'll be in the upper 60s across parts of the area. So mid 60s too. And even some spots perhaps dropping into the upper 50s. And really there's not much to talk about upstream. These storms that you see here across New England are going to stay to our north. We're looking at quiet weather in the forecast here for the next couple of days. As this pattern that we're in right now with a trough of low pressure right here, this is the reason why we're getting the cooler weather. Notice the arrows coming down from Canada down towards the mid-Atlantic. That is bringing that cooler air southward. This is where the heat dome is, and it stays to our south and west here for the time being. There are some indications, though, it looks like by, uh, I'd say, the first or second week of August, things are really going to start to warm up. Probably not as much as what we saw uh, last week, but temperatures are going to be warmer than what we see right now. So here's your first alert seven day forecast, and there you go. It pretty much is self explanatory here for the next couple of days. Highs in the mid 80s, lows at night, low to mid 60s. Open the windows, sit down on the patio here uh, for the next couple of evenings. It should be very nice, but we are going to get some storm chances in here later this week, but it's not going to be anything like what we had late last week. So, so great to turn I the know. AC off. Yeah, I know. Ooh, Give we it a break, needed this right? break, yeah. We yes. did.